Hi guys, I'm G and you're watching G's Gossip. Welcome back to my channel. So guys, today my video is about my first design handbags. I'm going to show you my first five design handbags which I bought to start my collection. So before we go on to the video, if you guys are new here and if you haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe by hitting the red subscribe button and also hit the bell sign next to the subscribe button so that you guys can be notified whenever I upload a video. Alright guys, so let's jump into the video. So my first ever designer handbag that I ever bought was this beauty from Gucci and at that time guys I really wanted to design a handbag. This was bought in 2009 and uh, this was about a thousand dollars when I bought this in 2009. Um, so guys there's a small story behind this bag. This bag only uh, made me start my entire collection. So um, when I was studying in Australia uh, I've seen a lot of people carrying a Gucci bag or some designer bag. Mostly it's either a Gucci bag or a Louis Vuitton bag. So I thought one day I want to buy uh, a designer bag as well. So what I did was I started working part time while I was studying and collected a few um, dollars and bought this beauty. So I bought this beauty in 2009 uh, from a trip to Hong Kong. Uh, this is a short bag and this uh, style is now discontinued from uh, Gucci. It's a canvas bag as you can see. I used to love tote bags guys. So it has a uh, like a leather trim. It's black in color and it's a, a big compartment inside. It does have like a, a zipper pocket on one side and a smaller pocket um, on the other side. And it does also come with this little charm. So guys, this was my first ever handbag from Gucci. So this bag helped me start my collection. So guys, my second ever design handbag was this beauty from Louis Vuitton. Um, guys, I bought this bag in 2011. So in 2009, I bought my first ever handbag and it took me two years to buy another design handbag and uh, I bought this uh, in London when I did a um, trip to London with my family I barely wanted a Louis Vuitton bag at that time so I was not a big monogram person at that time I didn't like the monogram plate on a bag so because of that guys I thought I would go for the Damien Urbane style so this was a little understated it is its cream Louis Vuitton so I thought I will go for a Daniel Bean bag and this is the Speedy in 35 and this is the classic Speedy style, it's not the matter here and guys, um, of course it has treated leather so I wasn't aware of the patina and all that at that time because I just started collecting a uh, designer handbag so later on I found out about the monogram and very lovely monogram but initially guys, I just wanted a Louis Vuitton bag with the Daniel Urbane print because I really love this print. So, um, guys, as you know, the classic Speedy has a zipper uh, closure and it does have the beautiful red interior and also it has a pocket on one side and other than that it doesn't have uh, any other pockets inside. So guys, this was my second designer handbag. So guys, after I bought my second designer handbag, which was my first ever Louis Vuitton handbag, um, I wanted to stay for some time and collect a few bucks to buy my third handbag. But however guys, uh, there's a small story again behind this third handbag. Um, this handbag was gifted to me by my dad. Um, he was feeling very generous at that time because he knew my love towards design handbags. So he told me that he will buy me my third handbag. So he wanted me to pick up one of the bags that I would want. So what I did was at that time guys, I went through the entire Louis Vuitton site and thought I wanted this beauty. This is the Artsy in the MM size in the Damien Azure print. So guys, since I had uh, the Damien Abin 
trained in my speed. I thought I wanted something different. And of course, guys, I used to love a lot of big bags at that time. So finally, my dad bought this in 2012, again, um, in a trip to London. Guys, at that time, this bag was only 900 pounds. So you can see how much it has increased its price by now. Um, and then now the RC is a little different. It does have like a piping over here. At this time, um, they didn't have the piping, so it was just uh, this bag um, in the dim as well. Guys, you can see I haven't used this bag much because, um, guys, I was a little scared about the patina because I found out about the patina later on. So I didn't want to take this out, and especially because it's a white bag, I was very careful. Um, I was really babying this bag, and it has a lot of sentimental value because my dad bought it. So I haven't used it as much, but I think I should start using it again. Um, so this bag actually has a, a microfiber interior, and it has a lot of pockets as well. It doesn't have a zipper closure, as you can see. It's a big, uh, like one compartment, and on one side it has two, uh, actually three big pockets, and on the other side it does have a zipper closure. Uh, actually, it does have a zipper pocket, and it also has another three pockets with the zipper pocket. So there is this. The bag has a lot of compartments inside, so uh, it's, it's quite a nice bag. And also guys, it does have this little charm and you can attach your keys onto this. So that's my third ever design handbag, the Louis Vuitton Artsy in the MM size in the Tamiya Azure print. So we are at the fourth bag right now guys. So my fourth ever handbag, designer handbag was this beauty. It is the Louis Vuitton Eva Clutch in the Damien Avene print. Guys, um, this is now discontinued by Louis Vuitton. This is one of my favorite handbags guys. Um, since I had a lot of bigger bags, I wanted to get my hands on like a smaller bag, a bag which I could use uh, for evenings maybe. Uh, like when I'm going out for dinner or if I'm going out traveling, I used to uh, take this handbag because this is the only uh, small handbag I had at that time. So um, this, I actually took a lot of use out of this bag. When I was traveling, I used to uh, take this beauty as my uh, shopping bag, as my crossbody bag because this does come with a, stra uh, with a strap, a crossbody strap. So um, guys, I have used this so much. I have used this uh, in all my um, travel trips. And also guys, they did have, uh, Louis Vuitton did have this uh, particular style in the monogram canvas and also in the Damien Azure canvas. But I ended up getting the uh, Damien Avene canvas because I wasn't a fan of the monogram style at that point. And also I was a great guy worried about the patina. So this had the treated leather. And you can see from the zipper how much I have used this bag. It has um, really worn out, but guys, it has held up quite well. So guys, I bought this beauty in Malaysia when I did a family trip to Malaysia. So to um, check the interior, so the zipper is quite smooth guys. You can see it has a zipper closure. And inside is as usual the red interior, and as it does come with um, the longer strap. So, this is also in leather, the treated leather. So, it doesn't have any pockets, guys, it just has one big compartment. And um, you can attach the strap onto these two D rings. I will show you guys how you can attach. So, basically, you attach your longer strap. onto the bag like so. So this is a great crossbody bag guys. It does um, fall a little lower because I'm 5'8", it, it was okay for me but if you're a shorter person this might be a little too long because the strap is not adjustable. 
How are you guys? I have used this strap in many ways as well. I've used this strap with my CD and with my Alma. So I've used the strap quite a lot as well. And um, you can definitely uh, detach the entire long strap. But guys, the shorter strap cannot be detached. You can only uh, take it off from one side and you can definitely um, click it onto the other side and use it as a wrist uh, bag as well. So this is quite a versatile bag. It's one of my favorite bags, guys. Um, I'm really sad that we will not discontinue this bag. Um, I've used this quite a lot and this is my fourth designer handbag in my collection. So guys, now we are on the fifth handbag. So this is my last, uh, I said five, I'm going to show you five handbags. So this is my last handbag uh, from the entire collection, the fifth bag uh, for this video, guys. So uh, my fifth handbag was this beauty. This is a level full MM in the monogram style. So guys, you can see how I evolved to start liking the monogram print. Um, guys, I have seen this bag a lot uh, with uh, so many people. So I badly wanted to uh, get my hands on this bag because I mean it was quite a popular bag at that time. Again, guys, I bought this in 2013. Actually, I bought my Eva clutch in 2012, and this was in 2013. So, guys, from 2011 to 2013, you can see how much I've evolved and uh, I've changed my taste. Uh, my first ever Louis Vuitton handbag was in Damien Abbey, and my second one was in Damien Azua, and the fourth one, of course, again was in Damien Abbey, and my final. Uh, my fifth designer handbag and my fourth Louis Vuitton handbag is in the monogram style. Guys, you can see how much I have used it by the patina. I mean, it has, it's quite dirty, guys. It has uh, got the honey, and it's not actually the honey color now, it has got a little more darker because I used to uh, carry this bag for work almost every day. So, guys, this is a great bag. I have I'm telling you guys, I've used it for so many uh, occasions, for travel, for work, as a laptop bag, so this is a great bag guys. So as you know, my, uh, my uh, number full bag is in the previous design, not in the newer design, so I don't have the pouch, the cushion which is attached to the newer uh, number full bag. So, so to check the inside of the bag, it does have that Louis uh, Vuitton famous print in the uh, interior. And guys, uh, it's one big compartment, it's a tote bag again. So it has like a big zipper compartment on one side, guys, as you all know. So you, in the MM side, you can definitely fit in a wallet here, like a smaller wallet. Uh, in GM size also, uh, the pocket is quite big, so you can definitely uh, insert your wallets inside the zipper or pocket. And other than that, guys, it does have the G rings and it has a, a little uh, snap closure that you can hook it up like so. So this is one of the most famous handbags from the Vuitton in the monogram. And uh, you can see, guys, the leather is not treated, so the leather has got quite patina. Guys, I can show you how much it has got the honey color. You can see when I lift this part, guys, you can see the difference. This was the original color, maybe a little uh, darker, and now it's quite dark. Guys, after I bought this particular uh, monogram style, never pull bag. I fell in love with the monogram print and I, uh, I mean after this guys, I just started buying my monogram uh, print on every bag and I still love the monogram style guys. Now I'm uh, more on to the monogram print rather than the day of being on the day here as well. So guys, these are my five design handbags which helped me start my entire collection. Guys, I started collecting all these bags in 2009 and today it has been 11 years. It took me a while to get my uh, hands on my entire collection. So guys, have patience. Uh, so 
in uh, whatever I bought, my entire collection didn't um, happen in like one year. It took time, guys. So it did take 11 years for me. And I'm still buying uh, designer handbags. I'm still in love with designer handbags. Of course, guys, I don't buy a lot of Louis Vuitton handbags nowadays. Now I'm more on to either Hermes or Gucci at, at this point. So, um, I mean, your taste will definitely change in time. So you will start loving uh, a tote bag initially, but after some time you might not like the tote bags. You might change your uh, taste to a, maybe a smaller bag or a crossbody bag. So guys, have patience and think about uh, your collection and get your hands on the first bag and from there you can build your collection, guys. So guys, that's it from me today. Hope you guys enjoyed my video and hope you guys uh, enjoyed seeing my first five designer handbags which helped me collect uh, my the entire collection of designer handbags. And uh, do show me your uh, first handbag as well in the comments down below. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you love watching it, give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, and if you're new, do subscribe by hitting the red subscribe button and the bell sign next to the subscribe button so that you guys will be notified whenever I upload a video. Hope to see you guys soon in my next video. Until then, have a great week and stay safe.